My name is Rishi and I'm Indian. I grew up in Indonesia and I lived and studied for 10 years in Singapore. While being in Singapore, I did a minor in entrepreneurship and after six years of working in business development for startups, I realized I wanted something different. I'm Viviana and I come from Ecuador. Back home, I was originally trained and worked as a lawyer until my focus shifted towards urban issues. Some friends invited me to a workshop on social architecture in Nicaragua, and this is how I discovered that working with spaces brings justice to people. I chose to study here especially because of the Erasmus University Rotterdam, which has a really good reputation worldwide. The campus facilities are great. I really like the spaces in the new study building, we have a sustainability hub in the university, and I also got to join the gym on campus. I chose the strategic urban planning and policies track because I was really interested in connecting my previous activities with the theory. Choosing IHS was the best decision ever. I was very satisfied with my chosen track on urban environment and climate change. It was focused on policies, adaptation and mitigation. We got examples of what the UN and other international organizations are working on, as well as more hands-on, community-based actions and how these are implemented across the globe in developing countries. We learned tools like multi-criteria decision analysis and we also picked up hard skills with different software programs which looks good when applying for jobs. For my thesis research, IHS gave me and other five colleagues the opportunity to travel to Ecuador and work on a project with one of our professors. Having lectures that are not just academics but also work in consultancy it's a great opportunity because we can learn about theory, but also how things really work in practice. We got to interview people from the government, from international cooperation agencies, and even UN Habitat for our own thesis. My thesis focused on how water and energy saving technologies can impact climate change. For my research, I went to Cuenca, Ecuador, and I talked to people involved in water management about ways to make even their advanced technologies more efficient. Because we were using common methods, my thesis could be read by a city councillor, by an engineer in the water management company, or by professors, and all of them could make sense of it. During the program, we got to work a lot in teams. The student group is very international, and this is good because colleagues bring their own local context and unique view on the same issue. All in all, for me this degree brought a change in my career path. Coming from my engineering and business development background, it helped me expand my focus to topics like circular economy, sustainability, and the water energy nexus. In the future, I want to work towards becoming a professor or lecturer because I see that as a chance to continue doing applied research. Thinking about the future, I do have job opportunities at home, and eventually I want to go back because I know I can make a big difference there. But for now, I want to get more experience working on an international level.